hello everyone welcome to this lead code daily question where we are going to receive as input an array of integer and we are supposed to find out if it exists in that array a triple where e i is less than g which is less than k and norm of i is less than norm of k which is less than norm of g so let me give you an example so you understand better so let's say you have uh, this array. You can find that in this array, we have three elements, one, four, and two, where the first element is smaller than the third element, and that third element is smaller than the first, than the second element. So if you find such triple in your array, you should return true. Otherwise, you return false. Now, just for you to have a, a kind of visualization of the thing, I, I, I did this so what you are what you are doing is that what you're searching is that you're searching three element that can be displayed like this you have e g k being consecutive i mean being element respecting this condition e is less than g which is less than k and then you have the value the first value is the smallest of the of the triple the second one should be the biggest and the third one should be the one in between now that we have this we know where we are going how are we going to find it so my approach of finding this will be as follow i will look through the array from left to right from right to left and whenever i'm seeing an element i will check if that element is actually smaller than the potential key if it is the case i return true now you may ask yourself what is a potential key how do we achieve potential k? So uh, the potential k is basically an element that was in the stack. So that, that is why we are going to use the stack. It's an element that was in the stack, which is smaller than an element that we are adding. So basically, when you are treating an element, after treating an element, you add it to the stack and it can act like, it can act like a potential k and then uh whenever you want to add a new element you need to check if it exists in the stack an element that can be paired with the element you want to add in such a way that they are they are a couple with a potential key just an example so you understand better you have an element you you look from the from the right to the left whenever you see an element you check if that element is actually smaller than the potential k. If it's smaller than the potential k, you return true. Now, at the end of each operation, you need to put the element you, you will need in your stack. But before putting into your stack, you know that you need to check. You need to find out if you can have any potential k with that element that you, you want to add, right? And then a potential k is just like, okay, the element I want to add is actually an element, since I'm looping this way, it's actually an element which is going to be placed into a stack where he has element that came before him, that came after him, because I'm looping this way. And then if among those elements that came after him, is there any element which is smaller than him, if it is the case, that means that element can be a potential key and then at the end of your operation of searching the potential key you add now the 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 element the current element you will need in the stack and during the next operation you just check if that potential key is actually uh is actually greater than that that potential key is actually greater than the current element if it's not the case you repeat the operation so let me associate with the code so you see it better. So you have an empty stack at the beginning, sure. Um, we are going to look from we are going to look through all of, all of the elements from right to left. That's where you are starting at the size minus one to zero. And then for each of the elements, you are going to check is the element I'm gonna need actually uh, smaller than the the current max. If it's the case, you return true. Eventually, it will not be the case at the first time because uh, nothing has been the value of the current max is in mean nothing has been 
No operation has been performed in the stack to find out the, the current max. Now, whenever an element is not actually a solution, you need to put it in your stack. But before putting in your stack, you need to check, okay, I want to insert an element in my stack like this. Is there any element in my stack that is actually smaller than me? Because the element in my stack, don't forget, are actually the element that are coming after me. So the element in my stack are actually only potential key. So if I found an element in my stack, which is actually smaller than me, then we both, we are forming a possible uh, two tree. We are, we, are, we are searching for one, one tree two, right? We are searching for one tree two. So if we have an element in the stack, which is actually um, smaller than the element we want to add, then those two elements are forming a potential tree too. That is what we are doing here. If the stack is not empty eventually, because if the stack is empty, you just need to get out. And then you found an element in the stack. That means the first element, an element in the stack, which is actually uh, smaller than the current element we are on it. That means if the current element we are on it is actually greater. The, current element is greater than the element than any element in the stack if it is possible then this is the potential gk pair and at the end of this you say okay the potential gk we had previously is him actually small is he actually bigger than this i where we are on it no if it's not the case you just repeat the cycle if it's not the case that element is going to be kind of considered at a G and then we are going to find is there any potential K that can be used to form the pair? Yes, if it is if it's the case, we update the value of potential K and then we are going to use it for the next operation and so on and so on. So basically that is my approach of solving this. I hope you do enjoy it. Feel free to leave me a message in the comment section. I'll be really happy to interact with you regarding this. See you on the next video. Ciao.